Hey guys, so we're gonna head out to a Lebanese bakery called Wordo. Uh, it's in Westheimer. It's about 41 minutes. It's uh, located southwest Houston. So uh, it should be about a 40 minute drive and uh, hopefully it'll be up to the test for the next halal restaurant that we visit. So here's what it looks like when you check it out on Google. You can see some a nice setting, some nice Lebanese food. It looks like a fancy place. And this is, oops. So this is what the reviews say. So we'll give it a shot. We'll try a variety of different things and we'll let you guys know what we think. All right, let's get going. The view in our area is very scenic and we enjoyed the ride. Weirdo is closer to downtown, so it got busier on the road, but we saw a crazy amount of birds on the way. All right, here's Weirdo, a Lebanese bakery. I'm Lebanese myself, so I'll let you know if the food has authentic Lebanese flavors. Right off the bat, you see the decor is nice and inviting, the store is very clean, so I'm excited to see how the food will turn out. Okay, so we're going to go over what I ordered and what I paid. So here you can see I got a pizza with suja, I got full and hummus, I got, uh, these are little meat pockets. So I got a meat pocket, a pizza pocket, and a spinach stuff pocket, and just a can of pop. And then it came to $27.52 before tip. This is the same juice I grew up drinking in Lebanon, so it brought back so many memories. This is a popular breakfast dish called hummus and fool, which literally translates to chickpeas and fava beans. It's served with a plate of vegetables and a drizzle of olive oil on top, keeps it so moist. The pita bread used to eat it with is baked in house on a stone oven, fresh when you place your order. If you don't like eating bread, you can simply use a spoon. Yo. Here we have full and hummus, we have the fava beans, we have chickpeas, and that's olive oil. And here we also have an assortment of vegetables. Like there, my daughter loves this, you can see she's trying to grab it from me already. <laughs> okay, let me show you guys how it's eaten in Lebanon. Follow wow. it up with a pickle. The bread is nice and fresh. I give that a 9 out of 10. The ful and the hummus, not too bad. I personally don't like ful and hummus too much, but with olive oil, it makes a big difference. I give the ful and hummus here an 8 out of 10. And then the vegetables are pretty fresh. I'd say that's a 9 out of 10. We're gonna do a taste test and see what we're gonna rate this. Get our tomato and our onion ready. <laughs> this is how my wife eats her plate. She mixes it all up and uses a spoon. Comment which way you would eat it. The pizza came out shortly after. They have different topping options, but I got the one with vegetables and halal beef pepperoni called suja in Arabic. It has eight slices and I ate it all myself but it can be shared between two people if you order the fries as well. And this is the classical Lebanese pizza. Here they have a lot of, we have a fork here, the spoons. Here you can see there's a lot of vegetables. I think there's corn. So there's Green pepper, tomato, onions, olives. Sometimes they put corn in it. And this is sojo, so it's like spicy, spicy pepperoni. So we're gonna dig in. And this is made um, 
in the stone oven. This is very good. This is my favorite. It was so delicious. I forgot to rate it, but it's a 10 out of 10. I wish I could eat this every single day. We ordered one of each of these, which tasted homemade and completely authentic. In Lebanon, these are made in large batches and eaten with extended family. The meat and spinach are pies and typically served with lemon or plain yogurt. So this is the meat pie, this is the pizza, and this is the, the spinach stuffed. Okay. So we'll give this one a try. Oh, there's a lot of flavors in here. As you can see, there's spinach, onions, I think there might be a little bit of garlic. There's also lemon. It's, it's pretty good. I like the flavor. And very crispy. Very nice. I don't like spinach too much, but I give this a seven and a half out of ten. This is the meat pocket. Beef is well done. You can see the spices on there. The bread is nice and crispy and it's soft, a little bit soft on the inside. And you can see it's a little flaky as well. I love this. This is like an eight and a half to nine out of 10. And this is the pizza. You get your traditional Lebanese style pizza with all the veggies, the green pepper, onion. I think there's might be corn on there. That might be corn. Olives. It's very good. I give this a nine and a half out of ten. I really love the atmosphere here, the design, the, the way they put everything together. And you can hear the music. It's Arabic Middle Eastern music. And it's very nice, cozy type of place to be in. They have a wide variety of breakfast and dinner foods. If you like a more busy environment, then you should come earlier in the day, and it's less busy after 4 p.m. on the weekends. It was also a family-friendly place. They have seatings for small and large parties, and also high chair for kids. The parking situation isn't the best, but the customer service makes up for it. I would rate Weirdo 9 out of 10. Thanks for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe for more content on Hassan's Halal Reviews. <laughs>